Hello. Yes, hello, happy Father's Day. Thank you for watching. I'm Stu from the Lager Logs, and today I am doing an unboxing video. It is a Beer 52 Summer Warehouse Sale. 24 beers for £26. I mean, look at it. Huge. So, yes, it's just me. Uh, there's loads of technical issues. It should have been me and Tom. And it worked out. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to get this out tonight. It's a Father's Day present from my boys. And I thought, let's just get it done. We live stream. Uh, also, I picked up uh, Isla uh, Whiskey Cask Ale from Innocent Gun. I also, uh, this is part of my Father's Day as well. Just because I bought it. So, this should be an interesting 7.4 ABV. But it is all about the Beer 52. So, I've already done the scissor part. Let's get open. So I'm just going to run through what the 24 beers are. My predictions, or no, my expectations. I'm hoping to get some Scottish beers. Um, it's I know these summer warehouse deals is normally just the beer that is probably going to go out of date soon. Um, but it's oh, come on, 24 beers for 26 pounds. You get your book. Old Fairmint magazine. Uh, I'm not sure what month it's from. Imagine it's probably still the recent one. So they've got that. And the other thing, I imagine we'll probably get lots of doublers. But let's see. First beer of the box is Polar Ice Walls Wild Card Brewery. That is a Liquid light, polarized walls. Nice. Do I not actually see what type this is? This doesn't tell you what type of beer it is, which is odd. Okay. First beer, mystery beer. Second beer, hmm. Prod by Ad Astra Brewery, brewed in Germany. It is a land beer, 5.4%. Following that, we have... Oh, yes, here, I'm happy. Funky Drummer, 71 Brewing Company. That is the guys from Dundee. We got this in the Scottish beer box that we covered a couple months ago, and both me and Tom agreed that the Funky Drummer was an excellent brew. 7.5 double IPA, 6 hops. That's uh, an excellent start. So, next one. Hey, Caramel Mousse Stout from Fierce Brewing Company. I haven't had this. So, it's a Chalk and Caramel Stout, 4.5 ABV. Fierce Beer are big guys in uh, Aberdeen. This one's, it's like I just want to be tender. It's had a wee bit bashed up you know a couple of dents but i haven't seen it I've, I've seen it in shops but i'm excited to get this now so that's it already two great beers for me that i've been wanting to try again or try in the first place third one buxton breweries future reference ddh pale ale so that's double dry hopped pale ale 5.5 That's five. Ten number six is do you copy DDH another DDH IPA? Five point two percent from Moberly Brew House. And you'll notice this is also a, a different setting, uh, mainly because I was having some horrible Wi-Fi issues. Uh, just it was just a nightmare. Or when we were working, the quality was terrible. 
So now we're, we're in my living room. I mean, if I stand to the side, you can see my uh, John Carpenter poster. It's like a signed poster and a wee picture of me and him in the corner. So now we've got three bottles of beer and it's got three identical bottle caps. I'm thinking I'm going to pull these three beers out and just see if it's if it's triplets. <laughs> I'll just drop one. So, yeah, I think it is. It is three holiday stouts from Bromars to Mostel. 6.4 ABV. Is this a, like a German? Ah, oh, it's Polish. Okay, so three Polish stouts. We get a better look at this label. Is it a Christmas beer? Look, it's got the lamp from a Christmas story. It should have been called Fragile. But, so, that was a given. We've got some doublers. Uh, oh, now there's one other bowl. Look at these guys. Everyone knows these guys. Duvel, something I can't pronounce. Six, well, it's like the devil's beer. 6.66 6 volume, Belgian. The blonde ale. Sure, let's just call it blonde ale. Okay. This is a big bog. I mean, let's come have a look at it. Let's ignore the living room. There you see. Big old box of beer. Pop that back. Yeah, get the colour right. So next one. Oh, four pour. You'll see these guys in Asda's. Uh, oatmeal stout. Rich and chocolatey 5.1. Sounds good. Wow, this is a funky tin. Quebec IPA. Vans. It's cool. Quebec IPAs are normally quite nice. Another, oh, an American Pale Ale. From Mullership Beer. Where is Mullership Beer? Uh, London. So look at that. Let me look at the artwork. So that's that. Yeah, and if you just join us, happy Father's Day. Well, let's see. Sam Brooks Brewery, Powerhouse, London Porter. Man, run out of room to put these beers down. Okay, let's have a look. Sunday Sauce. Oh, this is a funky milk stout. Chocolate and vanilla Sunday stout. Okay. So I quite enjoy a, a milk stout, so it'll be interesting to see what flavours if the flavours do come through. Oh, we've got our little snack. I cannot pronounce that, so I'm not gonna try. It mentions like a little pizza crackers. So we've got nine nine beers left. In hops we believe Dogma Brewery Quasar Black IPA. I've thought I've never been a fan of a black IPA, but it's wrong. I've actually had a nice black IPA from Stuart Bruin. I think it's called Nightfall. Very much enjoyed that one. Six percent. I think is that maybe why it gets like a higher ABV. It's considered like a like a black IPA. I know Stuart Bruin did like a white IPA and a black. Oh, here's a, a doubler. Uh, uh, the Land Beer. 
from Ad Astra Brewery. I assume Ad Astra is more than one thing because obviously there was that film with uh, Brad Pitt a few years ago, which I watched because it was giving me interstellar vibes from the trailer. And it was, it was, it was a good film. I've, I should revisit it. I just remember there was like that one scene where he goes to a space station and there's um, like just these mad baboons have killed the crew and they were just there. And it was just kind of like the big shock you weren't expecting in the middle of the movie was just these baboons going mental and ru- flying towards Brad Pitt wanting a bit of his face. Anyway, I, another doubler. We've got Do You Copy? That one from before, another DDHIP. After that, <laughs> another land beer. I'm going to be giving these out at Christmas, I think. Land beer. After that, Buxton Breweries, Future Reference. Yep, I think we're getting to that point in the box now where it is just chock full of doublers. Another caramel mousse. Which is fine, because to be honest, I. I see that in the reduced section at Aldi's. I keep thinking I should try it because I enjoy Fierce. Oh, oh. Here's a nice surprise. Uh, Wild Beer Company's Peel Breaker. Grapefruit Session IPA. Can you hear my children stamping around upstairs? Right, we're down to two beers. Are they going to be doublers? Oh no, this one is, I love the artwork, can't pronounce any of it, Nesta, a foreign extra stout, let's try and get centred, see, there we go, there we are, it's, you know, a little bashed up, 6.5%, no, sorry, 6%, Again, I love an artwork. It's like kind of like printed money. That nitro. Okay, down to our final ten, and it is not a doubler. It is the White Hag Irish Brewing Company's Session Red Ale. Four point one percent, and that's it. I now have twenty four beers to try, uh, and one big ass box to recycle. Again, let's have a wee look. Just a little, little unboxing of the Innocent Gun Isla Whiskey uh, Cask Ale. This was a. Um, a red beer that was brewed in, or matured in, Lathroig casks. My dad was very excited to tell me that they have Lathroig as place of work, Diageo. Let's open this up, a little security tag. Now, this was only £4 in Sainsbury's. So, I've seen people... Say this has been expensive before. Hopefully, it was just more than, you know, three thirty mil. But you know, seven point four percent. Is that the microphone back? Hope so. That's every time I knock this microphone, it knocks it off. But yep. Isla Whiskey Cask, Lafroig, Scottish Red Beer. So what, like a red ale? But it's a limited edition. I found it in sort of the, the present and gift section at the end of the beer aisle in Sainsbury's, where you get your Stormtrooper beers, Dead Man Finger rum, just all of the wee gift sets I would normally get for Christmas, well, for special occasions. And when I seen this Innocent Gun bad boy, I just thought, 
I have to get it. That's it. This is now in my shopping basket. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been it. Thank you to those who popped in. But yeah, just want to get this out. Father's Day, Beer 52 unboxing. I'm pretty sure their summer warehouse deal is still going. Um, when this video is on our channel, I should have the link to the sales page. Good thing about the warehouse deal is it does not include a subscription and that's normally the worst part when you do like a beer 52 and you just want to try it you don't really want to commit is it's a, a more tricky cancellation process but that's it ladies and gentlemen enjoy the rest of the year day i can't do a smooth exit because i have to use the mouse to end the broadcast cheerio